Hey guys, welcome to Those Rookies Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys an in depth review of the Pet Gear No Zip Double Stroller. Before I get into this review, I do want to say that I do apologize that I haven't been putting out any videos lately. Um, I am going to try to do better, and also, I did get a request to do a um, first aid kit, like what's in my first aid kit for my dogs. Um, I will be doing that. I'm going out of town for the next two weeks. So I'm filming a couple of videos tonight. It's literally like midnight. But I am going to get that video out uh, sometime in the third week of June. So just be patient with me, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this review. So the first thing you'll notice when you see this stroller is how large it is. I mean, this stroller is huge. My three dogs fit in here so comfortably. And they all, like, they all lay down. They still have space. They have a lot of room, which I really appreciate. Um, it does come with these tethers. Um, it is made of a cheaper material, but, you know, they get the job done. And I just have a, um, what's this thing called? I have a coupler on the end because it only comes with two of these. So it does come with this. And then it comes with this nice and plush bed already which I really like because a lot of strollers don't come with this they just come with that little thin um, cardboard or a little thin um, cushion so this is a really good size bed um, it does have the double wheels and these are air wheels in the front which I do like and it does do that 360 degrees turning so it's easier to turn in tight positions and then when you want to go over terrain you can lock it into place so this locks, that locks it into place. So if you're going over tough terrain, you want to keep it to where it, oh, there we go. Okay, so that locks it into place. So if you're going over tough terrain, you want to keep it so the wheels go straight. It makes it easier to get through the terrain. And then when you get out of that, you just, And once you get out of that terrain, you just lock, unlock it back, and it'll go back into the 360 degree motion, which I like. It does have a no zip front, which is pretty awesome. It does take the house out, you just snap it into place like that. And then when you want to take it loose, you just kind of push it down and snap it like that, hold it down some more. And just unhook the top and it's open that does come in handy especially when I have three dogs I'm trying to hurry up and get them closed I can just snap them into place now you do see in the front with the mesh they do have a panoramic view so they're able to look out everywhere and they also have a view um, right here to where they can see out and they can see me and there's one more mesh window in the back so they can look behind them if they want to. A lot of times Zoe will sit back here and just look out behind her, especially when I just have her sitting down. <clears throat> it does come with this cup holder on the side, right here. Um, I personally am not too big of a fan of this cup holder because it leans so far back that you really can't put anything in there. Like I put a water bottle in there and it was gonna fall out. So maybe you put a larger bottle, but not one of those typical small size water bottles and you do have another cup holder right here and you have did you see it there's your second cup holder right here and you have a little storage compartment right here now this is just a little bag that I added onto it for a double stroller and it just gives me two additional cup holders which I like to use because they're a little bit more stable a little pocket and it has a little bag in the front and of course I added this little clip on here to hold my purse and shopping bags or whatever I need to get at that time now when you come to the back it does have the foot brake you just click it down and you'll kick it up and that's how you foot brake then we have a good size storage compartment where you have to the back folds so you can lift it up and you can get to it now I'm not that big of a fan of this because when the dogs are in there, I can't really get to it or I'll have to lift it up and they like kind of fall forward just to get to the storage in the back. It does have the big wheels also on the back <clears throat> and they are also air 
filled wheels and um, I did show in the last video that it comes with a little tire pump I didn't see some reviews on the tire pump saying that it really wasn't that good but I personally haven't tried it so I can't really tell you guys how the tire pump works now you do have the um, if you look right here you do have your shock absorbs so if you're going over bumpy terrain it won't feel so bumpy for the dogs um, which I think is a positive thing <clears throat> So, when you put the stroller down, you can do the one hand release where you have to slide this piece and then press the button and then rotate the wheel and you can break it down like that. And then when you pull it back up, you can do it like that. And it has the releases on the side where you hold both sides and pull them up, which is a little bit hard to do because it is so wide. Like me, I'm only five foot and I can't reach both sides i can't even barely reach one side i'm standing in the middle so for a person that's of a smaller stature that will be hard to do so the one hand release comes in handy i will say this is a very large stroller but it's very short um so it does easily fit into a mid-size sedan you don't have to struggle too much it's a bit heavy but you can definitely get it in there um the material that it's made of is a thick canopy material. I like the material. It seems very sturdy, um, very tough. Haven't had any problems with it. We did take it to um, Jacksonville, Florida, and the dogs are riding uh, everywhere in it. And the material is holding up pretty well. The mesh is really good. Marley's clawed at the mesh, and there's no problems with the mesh at all. So, let's just get into the pros and the cons of this stroller. Now, one of the obvious pros is its width. It is huge. Like, like I said, it's so easy for the dogs to get in there and have a lot of space. That's why I love it. The space is just, that's the, really the selling point for me on this stroller. If you have more than one dog or if you have a medium sized dog or a larger dog, this space is just priceless. So that is a pro. Another pro is that, you know, it is pretty well made. Um, it's pretty sturdy and it it works well when you are on rough terrain or when you are on smooth cement <clears throat> another pro is that it is a little bit lower I do like that so it can easily fit into your sedan um, so those are the pros that I have now let's get into the cons the cons are for this price point this stroller costs about $400 so for this price point I did feel that some things were done a little bit cheap for instance this cup holder it's really not functional I'm not a fan of the cup holder at all <clears throat> so that is one thing and then I noticed that sometimes and I did see some reviews on Amazon when I was looking at the stroller doing a little bit of research that the front wheel was wobbly so before I purchased it, I actually called into Pet Gear's customer service and asked was that issue fixed because this was the brand new uh, double pet show. This is not the older generation that people were talking about back in 2015. These, these ones were just released, this model. So I did call to see if there's still a problem with the front axle wheel. And she did tell me no, that it was an axle issue and they did resolve it with the newer ones. And I will say that it doesn't bump like constantly like a lot of people are saying just when they're pushing it it constantly just jumps 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 it doesn't do that but sometimes when i'm coming off of let's say when you go through a crosswalk and they have those little um it's, the ground is uneven when you're going through the crosswalk it'll get really bumpy like the wheel won't straighten out and then as i keep walking it straightens out so sometimes when i get on uneven ground and i go back to smooth ground it'll start to wobble as what the people described in the comments. So that's one thing I'm not too big of a fan of, especially for this price point. <clears throat> There's something else that I was thinking I don't like. Another thing that's kind of mm, is that the storage compartment is kind of, it can be considered a little bit of a wasted space. I mean, I'm still able to use it, but <clears throat> It can get a little bit difficult having to lift the dogs up, but it's still usable, so it's not that bad. That's not too big of a con. Another con can be that I love the size, but it is a little hard to maneuver 
through some stores. So you have to be careful when you're in a clothing store and you're trying to maneuver the stroller through different clothing racks. You know, but that's just something you have to deal with when it comes to the size. So I necessarily wouldn't call that a con because if you don't want to deal with that, you don't have to get a double stroller. This is about the size of a double baby, baby stroller. So if you have kids, you know um, the size of it. So that could be a con if you think about it like that. But overall, I mean, the stroller is a good stroller. Um, I do think it maybe is a bit overpriced, um, especially, like I said, for the quality of it. I think that for this price point, they could have had a little bit more bells and whistles. But overall, I really like the stroller. I don't regret the buy. If I were to give it a score out of 10, I would probably get it a, give it a 7 out of 10. You know, it's not a terrible stroller. Oh, and it does come with a really good rain cover. I'll put a, I'm going to um, put the rain cover on here and show you guys what it looks like in a minute. But, like I said, overall, it's a good stroller. The dogs love it. I think they're a little bit more comfortable in this than the Gen 7. I only say they're more comfortable because they have more space. Okay, guys. So, this is what the um, rain protector looks like when you just take it out. So, let's go ahead and put it on there and see how it looks. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like with the rain cover, which I think is pretty neat. I definitely took this with us to Florida, just in case the weather got nasty, because you know what, in Florida, it can, it'll be beautiful, then at a drop of a dime, it will start to rain. <clears throat> so when you close the top with the rain cover, you snap it in, and then the rain cover velcros. It has a bunch of velcro points where you can just velcro it together. And you're able to st the dogs are still able to see out which I do like they still have that viewing area they can see right here and they can still see in the back and I believe you can lift this little back area up right there and it can give them a little bit of insulation too because I know it can probably get a little bit stuffy which we haven't tried it but I would definitely you can roll it up and can connect it So you can roll it up and connect it so they can still get some airflow in there. So I think this is really neat and it can help in bad weather situations because you don't want to get your stroller all wet, your inside, your plush bedding wet. It's just a hassle to get dry and to not smell and to get clean. Alright guys, so this was my review on the Pet Gear No Zip Double Pet Stroller. Um, if you guys have any question, any more questions that I did not answer, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Also, while you are here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. Definitely thank you for watching those Jerkies times three. Bye, guys. Thank you for tuning into this um, unboxing. So please be sure that a review is coming soon. I'd definitely like to thank you for watching those Jerkies times three. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this channel. Bye, guys.